good basketball being played in the Blackstone Valley these days. Dual Valley Conference, always tough, but right now there's about three, four different teams that have a shot at winning this conference very early in the season. Two of those teams that are always there, Sutton and Hopedale, battling for supremacy tonight, at least early on, on Charter TV 3. And Mother Nature playing a little havoc with this one as well. We will explain. Sutton, here we go. They're ready to go first quarter. Little skip pass to Damon Yargo, goes in for two. The Sammies are up 10 early on. Still first, Yargo pushing the ball, finds Evan McVay. Sutton does what Sutton does. They hit threes. Sutton's up 13 at that point. Second quarter, Hopedale on the move. Dan Libertori, pull up jumper, cuts the lead down to eight. Guys are having some problems with condensation with some water on the floor in the third quarter. Ian Driscoll slipping, and that was it. The officials had seen enough. They call the game. The Sutton group did a great job trying to keep that floor playable, but the game suspended in the third quarter of play for player safety. Everybody made the right call on this one. Kevin Shea back at Ramasco Gymnasium to wrap things up for our coverage. Thanks, Andy. I'm here with Jim Donnelly. And uh, Coach, first, just have you been involved in a game like this that gets called due to the conditions? This is like the old Boston Garden, I said, in the playoffs in April when the, you get the moisture coming up. Yeah, 20 years. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. The refs are saying there's some precedents that burn code and cancel the game. But New England weather, and what are you going to do? And I'll say this, your uh, administrative staff here and the custodial staff did a phenomenal job to do everything they could to make the court playable. What did you see from your team, at least when you had footing, certainly in the first quarter, you guys were hitting a lot. Well, first, end-to-end, -end, the Sutton um, administration athletic program is phenomenal. Um, you know, it's a tremendous place to be a part of. As far as our team, we, you know, we look good. We were comfortable. Uh, we haven't been home in a while. And, uh, you know, it was nice. And I think I, we had a couple kids start to think about the floor. A lot of younger players, you know, never seen anything like this. And it sort of slowed the rhythm down. Plus, Hope Dill plays so hard, um, so unselfishly, um, and they're going to make a run. And that, those two things kind of brought the game again close. All right, so again, game, date, time, when they're going to resume this thing, still to be determined. And that was just one of several games canceled or postponed tonight due to moist or wet floors. Oxford and Leicester's our next game. It's going to be cold, probably in the 20s on Tuesday, so we should get that one in. We'll see you from the Wolverine country Tuesday at 10, uh, 7, rather, here on Cheddar TV 3. Algonquin is in Shepherd Hill, and the Ram squad was out in their unis tonight. Looking good, taking on the number one team in the land. Kenneth Flynn looking good first quarter, sticks a three for Shepherd Hill, and they're up by one. Moments later, it's Daniel Kavik knocking down a triple. He had 20 points tonight. Shepherd Hill's up by four. Algonquin's Brian Duffy knocking down a three. Duffy didn't hit a lot of rim tonight. He just was swishing everything. And even when he wasn't, there was Nick Redden to pick him up. Redden had 33 points tonight. Rams, Jason O'Regan with the flush on the throwdown. Some dispute on whether or not it went all the way through the cylinder, but it's good. I trust John O'Brien any day of the week. T-Hawks, Kyle Henderson, he just calmly answers with a three. He's on a different level these days. Cody Adams for Shepherd Hill, 22 points on the break. They're keeping it close early on. Look at, they got the Adams head. I mean, there's a jacked up there. Great atmosphere at Shepherd Hill tonight. Henderson, 18 points, strong take. He's looking good. You know who went nuts was Duffy, 36 points. He's just raining triples. 26 points scored by Algonquin in the first quarter, and a lot of it was just because Duffy just couldn't miss. Algonquin wins 95-87. Get your money's worth when you see those guys. Hey, get your money's worth when you see Matt and Peter calling a game over there. Oxford and Tantasqua, well, they had the football coach wiping down the floor in this one because there was some moisture. Pirates, Alexander Duvall, first quarter of the steal, going the distance. And the Pirates with an early lead. Eli Guivas finding Makadai Ousu for the hoop. Pirates are up by three. The Aldrich loves it. The well-traveled assistant for Oxford. Hayden Peterson finds Garrett Cassavant for two. Nice feed from the big fella. Warriors within one. O-Town defense. Clayton Silva, the eraser. And back on the other end, it's Guivas, who's just a freshman, unafraid. Saw him in the summer league sticking these threes. And 
That one put the Pirates up by four. Owusu then. The drive and dish to Silva, the big fellow. Oxford's up four. Warriors not going away. Evan Kuchar answers with a jumper. They got a great assistant coach, John LaRue. They know what they're talking about over there. Guivas was hitting threes, but Tantasqua comes back to win it. 50 to 41. To the girls' game now, St. Peter Marion hosting NDA. First quarter, Abby McDonald, the turnaround for the Guardians. Young players playing well. Ellie Potfin for the Rebels, sticking the three. That's what Potfin does. NDA defense, Hannah Marzo, the steal. She's going the distance. Rebels are up five at that point. Allie Walker now, spots up for three, all net. Rebels up eight. Taking to the second quarter, it's Potfin. She's a shooter. Rattles it in, another three. Big night for Potfin, Rebels working the ball. Their captain now, at Kate Smiley. She goes in for two. And they're running this time, Walker to Potfin. 17 for Ellie tonight. St. Peter's trying to hang in there, Shelby Wessel. Young player, good job carving out that space. NDA gets the win, 51. 26. And a quick note from the NBA of all places here on Charter TV3. Malcolm Miller, former Holy Cross star, made his NBA debut with the Toronto Raptors last night. Scored six points, two for two from three-point land. He played in the D-League for the Raptors D-League team earlier in the day and had a, a big game for them. So congratulations to Malcolm Miller, great athlete and great kid out of Holy Cross. He's got a great story and he's still working hard trying to make that, uh, that Raptors roster in, in the NBA. It seems like every other day we're talking about somebody from the central Massachusetts area who's making it big, whether yeah. it be NBA, the MLB. It's crazy. It's awesome. Big things. Big things happening. And, and, and earlier this week, uh, Billy Herrian got his 400th win. He's an Oxford native, and he's the head coach at uh, University of New Hampshire. So the Herrian's making big news. Holy Cross making some news. The Crusaders play Boston University. The men do on Sunday at home. Should be a big one. Good stuff. Keep yeah. it up. Good role models to these kids that are playing in these yeah, games no that you cover now. So that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Andy Lacombe, I'm Anna Botari. Have a great weekend.